today I'm going to show you our Holyland New Products 1000 feet wireless video transmission with intercom and tele supported. And uh, our transmission utilizes the most advanced wireless video system nowadays. And it supports HDMI and SDI and SDI output on both transmission and the receiver side. And our transmission distance up to 1000 feet and uh, not only but also 800 meters depends on the circumstances and also our audio transmission up to 2000 feet with tele supported and the video transmit with no compression and the no latency it not only helped the direct shooting wireless list but also it helped the communication with the photographer and get it to the best shooting experiences Now I'm going to show you the interfaces on our receiver and the transmitter side. And now firstly, let's see the transmitter. And we have the two 900 megahertz and the antenna connector and the two 5.8 gigahertz antenna connector. And then we have the video link indicator and the video indicator and the frequency display and the frequency channel selection button and the confirm button and also the mute and call indicator and this is the volume control button when you press on it it support the call function on the transmitter side and the microphone and the headphone for the wide earphone and the tele app port and the steering port on the other side we have the usb port for the bluetooth modular connection and the hdmi in and sdi loop up and sdi in and this is the power switch and this is the DC input and let's see on the receiver side on the receive side have the one 900 megahertz antenna connector and here has the link indicator and also RSSR received signal strength indicator and the video indicator and the frequency display and the channel frequency channel fre bottom and the confirm bottom and it also have the mute and code indicator and when you press on this volume control bottom it supports the mute function on the receiver side and it also has the headphone and the microphone for the wide earphone and the tally function port and also this port support the intercom and the tally as well and uh, on both the transmitter and receive side they have the screw hole at the bottom of the on both of the transmission Now I'm going to show you the video connection on our transmissions. Uh, firstly, we need to connect with our three PCs 900 uh, megahertz antenna. Okay, it's male antenna. You can see the needle inside of it. Now all our antenna software installed on our transmissions. Please be aware that you need to adjust the ankles exactly the same shape like this to make sure you can receive okay, the best RF performances. And now we need to power on our both our transmission okay, by our Lemo 4 pin to detect cables. Okay, firstly we need to put the Lemo 4 pin into our DC in and the detect for our battery. Okay, now it's where connected. And then we need to power on, okay, by this switch. Okay, and after we need to connect with our HDMI port. Okay, another side we will get the video source from our set of box. And after, you can see the video indicator have the lights on. It means the transmission received the video source from the set of box. And then from our receiver side, we just connect with our okay, Lemo 4 pin cable into our DC in. And the other side, we're ready to connect with the detail with our remote battery and we're ready to connect with our monitor. Okay, now we need to power on by our switch. Okay, and after we need to check our frequency. We need to make sure, okay, both our transmission and receiver are at the same frequency so they can transfer the video. 
Okay, now there is zero, as we can see. Okay, and then after we need to connect with our SDI cable. Okay. Okay, and after we can see the ring link that exactly okay for the transmission and the receiver that they are connected. Okay, now you can see the video from our monitors that the video source from our set of box. Okay, this is the video connection. Now I'm going to show you our Bluetooth. Okay, connection from uh, with our earphone. Bluetooth earphone. Firstly, we need to put this Bluetooth modular, okay, into our USB port. After you put inside, you can see the light is flashing slowly. After you press on it, it's flashing quickly. It means it enters the okay, it enters the pairing mode. And then we need to power on our Bluetooth earphone. Okay, and you can choose any here to Bluetooth here from as you like. Okay, here now. You just press on it for a little bit while. Okay. And that is flashing quickly. And also the Bluetooth here from enters the pairing mode. We just need to wait for a few seconds, okay, before they are matched. Okay, they are matching now, looking for each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can see the lights start flashing. It means they are paired, uh, they are already paired. Okay, and there's lights off, and here is the lights on. Okay, now this is the Bluetooth earphone. It's already connected with our receiver, and you can begin the communication with both our transmitter and receiver after you do the same progress with our receiver size. And also our system, okay, support our wire cable, wire earphone, okay. And then we just need to put our microphone, okay, and the earphone to the post accordingly, headphone and the microphone accordingly. Then, okay, we also can just by our wild earphone to communicate with our transmission, okay? And receiver transmission. And then, okay, you just beware that you cannot use them at the same time, okay? Bluetooth earphone and a wild earphone can be used at the same time, so you must uh, put the Bluetooth earphone out, okay? So this is all for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to connect with us anytime.